Hey everyone, it's John here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at a couple different tips to make replacing values in Power Query a little bit easier. So I previously did a video about bulk find and replace in Power Query. So if you have a list of values you want to find and a list of values you want to replace those with, then check out that video, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. But in this video, what we're gonna be doing is cleaning some data. And when you're cleaning data, sometimes you don't always know what uh, you wanna find and what you wanna replace that with until you're actually looking at the data. So I've got a price list here. And in this column here, I've got some items, uh, some price types. So I've got uh, an hourly price type. And here it's listed as slash HR. And I've got some similar ones down here, so hour and just HR on its own. And those are really the same price type. So what I wanna do is replace those with just a standardized version. And so we're gonna head into Power Query and do some re replacing values. So let's go to our data tab and create a table range query on this table. Now, if you're already in Power Query, and you're cleaning this kind of data, you might be looking at the filter and looking here and making a mental note that we've got slash HR, and then right-clicking on this column and going to replace values, and then just typing out that and typing out the thing we want to replace it with, and just kind of rinsing and repeating that action. Now, if you just have to do that once or twice, that's probably okay, but if you're dealing with larger strings of text, typing can be kind of annoying, because uh, that was only three uh, text characters and I managed to screw that up. So a better way to do uh, find and replace is to find uh, one of the single values. And if you right click on that, there's an option for replace values. And it's the same command, but what it does is it pre-populates the value to find. So I don't have to type out linear feed here. I can just type the thing I wanna replace it with and press okay. And while that's an improvement, uh, that still means I have to scroll down and find all those things that I wanna replace. And if you've got a long set of data, that might not be a viable option. So I'm just going to remove these replace value steps that we just did. And we're gonna do something else. So what I like to do is take this column and right click on it and use the remove duplicates command. And that's just gonna give me the list of unique items in that field. And from here, what I can do is then use the right click trick to replace values and basically just go through my list here and replace all the values I need to replace. And there we go, I think I've got everything the way I want it. And so I've got my four replace value steps here, but I'm only doing it on a small subset of my data. So just uh, in this case, 11 rows of data. And I wanna do that on my entire set of data. So before I remove the duplicates. So can I do that uh, easily? And the answer is yes. So if I go back to my remove duplicate step, I can just use the X here and remove that step and just confirm that I want to delete that. And now this replace value step isn't doing the replacement on that smaller subset. It's actually doing it on the entire set of data. And in fact, all of these are doing the exact same thing on the entire set of data. So that's an easier way of doing a load of replace value steps when you're cleaning data. I like to remove duplicates 
and then do my replace values and then go back and delete that remove duplicate step from the query. So we're done and we can close and load this to a table. And there we go, we've got our cleaned data from Power Query using replace values. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.